Earthbed. Good day, learners. This is Earthbed. Today, we're going to talk about the reasons why the sky is blue. Whenever we look at the beautiful clear blue sky, it helps us calm down, rest for a bit, think properly, and sometimes we can't stop but reminisce. But have you ever wondered why the sky is blue? This is the most common question kids ask and adults are trying to avoid it because they just don't know. Before we understand why the sky is blue, we first need to know the two things that play an important role in giving color to the sky. And these are the sunlight and atmosphere of the earth. If you see light from the sun hitting the ground, it probably looks plain white light. But in reality, that white light is made up of all the seven primary colors and each colored light has a corresponding frequency and wavelength. By the way, frequency is a number of waves that passes a fixed place in a given amount of time and frequency is measured in hertz. And wavelength is the distance over which wave shapes repeat. The seven primary colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And all these colors has their own corresponding frequency and wavelength. The violet colored light has the shortest wavelength and the red colored light has the largest wavelength. So if the light from the sun is composed of seven primary colors, then why is that we only see blue light? when we look up in the sky during daytime. Okay! The blue color we see comes from the sunlight heating the atmosphere of the Earth. Atmosphere of the Earth is like a jacket of our planet. It surrounds our planet and keeps us warm. Atmosphere of the Earth is composed of gases, dust particles, water droplets, and water vapor. Among the gases, nitrogen is the most abundant measure at around 78% and then followed by oxygen which is about 21% and the remaining gases are the argon, carbon dioxide, and other gases. When the sunlight heats the atmosphere of the Earth, it gets scattered or deflected by tiny molecules of gases. Scattering is a process in which atoms or molecules, when exposed to light, it absorbs light energy or re-emits light in different direction. But not all light scattered equally. The amount of scattering depends on the wavelength and this effect is called the Rayleigh's Law of Scattering. According to this law, the intensity of scattered light is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength of a wave. Therefore, the lesser the wavelength, the more the scattering. So as what I said earlier, violet, indigo, and blue light has the shortest wavelength among others. So violet, indigo, and blue light will be scattered most. But as you can see, violet light has the smallest wavelength of all light. But why doesn't the sky appear violet? There are two reasons for that. First reason is that sun emits more blue than violet light. We can see it by looking at the solar spectrum. Hence, more blue light is scattered by air molecules. Another reason why we cannot see violet light is that our eyes are less sensitive to violet light and more sensitive to blue light. That is also the reason violet color in the rainbow is difficult for us to see. 
and that's the reason why the sky is blue. Fun fact guys, did you know that there are some animals that can see all the way into ultraviolet of the spectrum? Yes, you've heard it right. Some animals like bees and some birds can see all the way into the ultraviolet spectrum. Therefore, maybe the color of the sky looks different for them. That's it guys. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned something today. Also, you can watch other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone anywhere.